All right, guys, it's Sunday, April 5th. We have some announcements for you about what's happening and what's going on. And Holly's going to tell you about them. But here's the thing. I haven't told Holly that she's going to tell you about them. We're just going to go um, Zoom her and tell her that she's doing announcements and see how that goes for her. Bear with me. Change the, change the lighting. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Stretch my hands to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna get Holly on Zoom, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Um. I, I kind of I kind of didn't press record um, to get Holly's reaction when we first got on there. Um, but don't worry, she wasn't that surprised. She was super on top of her game, which is a bit disappointing. I was really hoping that she wouldn't know what to do. She like went right into, "Hey, we have girls and guys WhatsApps, and you should sign up to them by clicking the link in the description of the video." <sighs> super annoying. I really wanted a reaction out of her. Primo top tip for watching these videos. You don't have to wear your fancy, fancy trousers to go to church anymore. Just wear some shorts. Even mismatch socks. Doesn't even matter because no one can see. Well, this is, this is not going how it was planned. All right, so we got WhatsApp groups. I thought you'd be way more surprised. We got WhatsApp groups. No. We got Sunday videos. Yeah, I haven't said that one yet. Sunday videos. Tell us about um, Sunday videos. We are sort of piggybacking on the church YouTube channel, um, but on there every Sunday we're putting our own videos up um, with all your youth leaders um, sort of talking at their cameras basically um, and we've got some content in there and um, some teaching and um, we have a bit of prayer. I just threw that in there for fun because when you play Holly's voice backwards she sounds like a Danish woman speaking in tongues. It's funny. It's funny. And then we're really encouraging you after those videos. Um, so on a Sunday morning, stay in the live stream for worship, watch the video, and then we're going to have Zoom chats, um, guys and girls, with your leaders, just to discuss the content and any questions that you guys had and chat about um, how life is going in isolation, really. What else do we got on during the week? What's happening on Thursdays? So again, like I said, we want to be able to sort of see your faces and interact with you, not just over WhatsApp. Um, so if you haven't come across Zoom yet, um, as well as on Sundays, we're going to be doing it every Thursday. Um, so when we would usually meet on a Thursday evening, we're um, doing it a little bit earlier in the day, four till five. And we're just meeting over Zoom, anyone who's available. Um, we'll have some like fun gaming stuff. Um, we're figuring out all the technology as we speak to do that. What else have we got going on, babe? What are you doing every day? I'm doing a podcast. You should tune in. There's great interviews and stuff. Holly's going to be on the podcast. Luke is going to be on the podcast. Jacob was on this week. Tando was on. It's great, basically. Every day, Monday to Friday. Every day. Find it on all your music streaming services. <laughs> I was hoping this would be a lot more awkward. I'm feeling quite awkward. That's good that you're feeling awkward. All right. Can you introduce, I don't even know if she knows this. Can you introduce who's speaking this Sunday and then what they're speaking about? Yeah, of course. So um, today we have some input from Luca and Lucy. Um, so oh, what are they speaking about? Is God kind? Is God loving? Ah, uh, Bo, I don't know what they're speaking about. Watch the video and find out. Yes. Let's do that. <laughs> Thanks, Bo. Hey guys, Lucy here, and this week we're talking about God and kindness, and the question, is God kind? So I figured a good place to start would be to talk about what kindness means to me and what I think it means to be kind. So to me, kindness is when you do something for someone else, whether it's go shopping for them or just give them a ring when you know they're not feeling great, just so that they know you're there for them and you're doing something kind for them without really expecting something back. I believe that kindness is in everything that we do and that we should all live our lives focusing on being kind and doing things for others. So now I'm going to pass over to Luca and he's going to talk about what it means to be kind with God and in the Bible. Hey guys, in times like this it's quite normal to have questions like that. We start to doubt about things that maybe we never thought about before. 
So our time that maybe we spend on our own and just go there in place where like we've never been before. And in this moment, question like, is God really kind? Can come out to our heart. I want to turn the question to you in another way. If God was kind yesterday, why should not be kind today? If we go through the Bible, we saw, we saw the story of the Bible. This is our past. And we live in the present, I know, but we have the, pre the past for remember what God did. Uh, we can see the story of Israel, like a way, a way when the, the his people were close to him, were far from him, were close to him and far from him. But there was one constant, and it's still one constant, is God. And it's God in his presence. His God is like kindness to show himself also when the people didn't deserve it. And we can see like this kind of kindness toward the, the, the one, toward the people, toward like the kingdom. And we can see like how through the history, also like in time, there were no good time. We speak like about people like Ezra and Maya, they just come back from a deportation. They were away from their own house, in a, away from everything that was blocked to them. They were like stripped away in a way how we were stripped from everything that we have. Our maybe freedom or like just opportunity to stay with friends. We have like our school, everything is just stripped from us. But in that situation, they will say, he has shown kindness to us. Isaiah, they didn't live needing a good time, say, the Lord will show the kindness. I will praise him for the Lord, the kindness they had toward me. So we see like how people through the history, also like in time, they were not maybe a good time for them. They realized that God was kind. So in a way, today we can stop and think of the past and say, okay, God was kind before. But you can maybe ask to yourself, okay, well, how this apply to my life personally? In that case, we can say just simply, what do you think the kind means? How do you describe the kindness of God? God is love, God is care, God is forgive. So we can say that the kindness of God is this willingness to be in a relationship with us. Is he showing to us they want to be part with us? What bigger expression we have than Jesus? That Jesus, they came for us. His love united with his mercy together. They just arrived to us. And then he just he gave his life for us in an extremely heart of kindness toward us and toward the whole humanity. And we can see like the God that was in the past. And then maybe like he's far away from us. Like a lot of years away from us. He's still present today in the picture of Jesus, in the imagine of Jesus. And a question that maybe we should ask at the moment is, is the kindness like building in me? In the New Testament, is, uh, is written about the kindness. And what we realize in the kindness of God is speak about some fruit of the Spirit. And I want to read in, the, in the Galatians 5. He, say, he says that, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, and kindness. So the fruit of the Spirit is something that we can participate when we are uh, when we are Christian, it's something that Jesus allow us to be part of it. It's something that we can just, in a way, like a seed in us, can just grow through the time. And this can be a time where we can just uh, invest and put some water in the seed. Yeah. But in a way, this time can be also a way to realize that God is kind to our life. And in a way, I want to challenge you before everything to just take the time to breathe and think about, okay, God. I don't know if you're kind or not, but if you're kind, can you show me how you were kind with me? How you have been kind with me? And maybe you say, okay, I know that God is kind, but he wants to have a relationship with me. But I don't know like, about Jesus, how this fruit of the Spirit you're speaking me about. But it's still there, the, like, the work of God you want to do in your life. And it just is a time that maybe we, when we like, have lost everything. So we can just sit and say, okay. You know, God, I want to give a go to this. So, like, why do not allow God to just build the kindness in you? After that, after when you realize that, when you, in a way, open your heart to that, you can just start right to the question and say, okay, I realize that. How can I show kindness to the people around me? In terms of this, how can I allow that fruit come out for the benefit of the others? Awesome. Thanks, Luca. So now we thought we'd link this in with what's happening at the moment and talk to you guys a little bit about how we can be kind in the current climate and how we can show God's kindness through our actions. So you might be wondering how you can do this when we're all stuck in isolation and stuck in our houses and not really able to go anywhere. But actually, there's so many things that you guys can do to be kind and show God's kindness through your actions. Whether it's just 
offering to help your mum around the house or doing some shopping for an elderly neighbour who can't really get out. Or maybe it's ringing up a friend or a family member who you know is alone and might be struggling at the moment or just ringing your grandparents for a chat because they can't get out. Whatever it is, we know that you guys can be really kind and help your neighbours. So we want to set you guys a challenge this week. We want you to do one act of kindness that shows God's love and kindness through your actions. This can be anything from praying for a friend, ringing up a friend or just checking in on people. And we want you guys to let us know when you've done this and how it made you feel. Thanks, Luca and Lucy. Um, that was really great. I don't know about you guys, but as well as um, hearing about God's kindness, I loved um, hearing about the idea that you know we can express God's kindness to those around us, that it's one of the fruits of his spirit living within us. Um, so I'm going to pray for us now, and I'm going to pray for that, that we would um, be given ideas and creative um, suggestions for how we can love the people around us uh, in this time. So make yourselves comfortable. If it helps, you can close your eyes, you can hold out your hands and um, just to show that you're um, ready um, to receive this prayer and um, yeah I'll, I'll start. Come Holy Spirit. Father God thank you um, for this week. Thank you for what you've been doing in our lives this week whether we've noticed or not and thank you for your kindness to us even if we can't see it right now. We thank you that we know you're kind because you are consistent and your nature is constant and you have always been kind and you will always be kind. I thank you that we can rely on your constant nature in a time when our circumstances are so dramatically changing around us. I just pray, Father God, that you would give us inspiration through your Holy Spirit right now um, and this week of how we can demonstrate and express your kindness to the people around us. Would you give us um, creative ideas um, for how we can um, yeah, demonstrate kindness to our neighbours, um, to people over Zoom, over WhatsApp, over Instagram, whatever it might be. Um, would you um, develop that fruit of the Spirit within us? Amen. Amen. Thanks for tuning in this week, guys. It's been really great. Um, I Well, I hope you guys have found it great. I've found it great. Um, and we're going to have our Zoom discussions now, um, like me and Bo told you at the beginning. Um, so uh, head off into the WhatsApp groups and find out what time um, you're going to be chatting with one another and enjoy those. Have a great week. Bye. Stretch my hand.